What's up guys? Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're back in St. Petersburg, just outside 30 kilometers of St. Petersburg. Interesting vlog. We're gonna have interview my sister, visit her salon and also talk about how she's doing her basically family life, business as well. So she is a true entrepreneur. Also, we're gonna have celebration of 10,000 orders on Fiverr with the team hustle, a little bit of barbecue on Friday. Guys, stay tuned and let's get it. Yeah. On the way to my sister's uh, beauty salon so today we're actually gonna I know it's pretty dangerous but I was starving so no more distractions so we're going on the way it takes probably 20 to 30 kilometers from the city from our office until her salon and we're gonna shoot an interesting vlog because we're gonna have interview with my sister because she opened the salon uh, last year and she will tell her journey in one year what she was able to achieve and how it's all started for her and she would also share the story because she has a very interesting story she was working in the corporate and then she decided to quit she uh, has a family three kids uh, and it's just very interesting story how she was able to transform from you know basically family life into entrepreneurship so she is a truly mompreneur Sis, thank you so much for doing this, being my vlog. So I know we've been a lot through many things all together, but I wanted to ask you how this idea came to basically transform from a family and start to build your own business. How, why you decided to do it? Um, hi bro, really welcome to Basicoma. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, actually, the idea came very spontaneous, you know, I was uh, such a long time on the maternity period and I wanted to build something for my own, to be busy as with my kids, uh, to be in profession and um, how to do something well for the place where we are now. Uh, so the idea came just spontaneous in 2017, summer. I just was driving, passing here by with my car and then I just saw the place, I said, wow, <laughs> here should be a nice place for um, our boutique studio. And uh, it took us too long uh, with the procedure of the rent and et cetera, et cetera, because there was actually a line on the location, because location is uh, really a five star here in the city. We have our personal parking, it's the main road. And um, so we had to wait until we get the decision that we can do here something like this. Also, you basically redesigned everything here because you have a lot of creative things, you know, <laughs> even though those things are, uh, I've never seen something like that in other salons. What maybe was your goal in those, like designing? How did you manage to get uh, everything like that? Well, bro, actually everything comes to the name of the studio. Uh, Bosico means um, bare feet. Bare feet, yeah. yes. So it means that, uh, and we actually in the, um, uh, like, uh, we are not in the city, we are like a little bit out of the city, like in the suburb, yes, yes we like can vacation, say. Location. Uh, location, yes, location, location matters. Yeah. So I decided to make it loft project. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing uh, fancy, fancy in sense of um, classy. Just be organic, be natural. So we have here um, just like, white walls, grey, it's um, to do with the nature and you know some wood design. So people come here, they got the atmosphere that they're in some, uh, in some kind of uh, natural path. So this is, you know, like um, we unite ourselves with the nature, I would say like this. Yeah, yeah, and I remember when you first opened, a lot of people came because uh, I assume location is and they were like, well, finally we have some <laughs> beauty salon here. So maybe over the time, like what did something change? Like, 
maybe how hard it was to choose the team members or did you expect many that many people or no? What uh, was it? Honestly saying in the beginning, well, I always believe in success because if you believe in success, success comes to your hands. Then it doesn't make sense uh, to do it if you don't believe in the project. I really believed and then uh, I wanted to um, make it easier for moms because I'm by myself mom and it is very important to have service, um, uh, all service in one time. You know, like you get your nice bros, you get manicure, pedicure and you can come with a baby or with a kid. So the atmosphere is like this because being a mom I know how it is difficult to devote some time for yourself and you know to manage all the things together. So um, in the beginning we had uh, really a lot of moms coming to ask uh, how is it and it is very easy to come with a trolley. So that's why I'm saying location really matters because we have a special uh, place to come with a trolley. So um, I don't know even how to tell that uh, I didn't expect too much people coming in the beginning and they really came. They really came, the interest was here and uh, it really, um, how to say, um, you feel really good about this, that it's working. For the moment, um, so far we reached, we have our VIP customers, we have um, regular customers who comes on the just daily basis to still asking because uh, we live in a city of 75,000 people. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, already in our database we have more than 2,000 and it's really good for one year. And uh, I think uh, it's a good start yeah. for like mompreneur business. <laughs> Before, I used to work as PR manager, but after the birth of my kid, I decided to pursue my passion and come to work at this salon. The atmosphere here is really motivating, and I like our team a lot. We work towards delivering the best experience to the customer, and I'm glad that I made this decision. I think we have in, in our family, we have these common things, because when I started my own thing as well, you know, I was just also passionate and I wanted to connect those things. So maybe could, what things could you recommend to other maybe moms who want to maybe also start their own business or do you think it's like is it possible? I know it's from your example it's possible for moms to have business but like what can you suggest to them if they want to start their own thing like maybe a salon for example what they should uh, look What I would say if you want to start something start just start. You have to have an idea. You have to ha have just a plan, at least a plan in your mind. You are not going to the uh, like financial details really now because uh, you can start your own businesses from um, $500 to uh, invest um, over $100,000. Uh, this is the thing. Yes, of course, it's very different. But if you want to start, try give you a chance to try. And uh, if you see you're moving in the right direction, uh, how to say, you will continue to do this kind of thing. This is very important. Uh, important to have an idea, a plan, and um, why are you doing this? This is very important. Not because I'm lazy, I don't know what to do, I have this, I have this. You really have to believe in that what you're doing, and then the success will come for yeah. sure. Yeah, and what is the plans now? What it for? So it's almost one year, right? Yeah, we're going to have a one year birthday in the beginning of July. 10th of July, we're going to have a like party party time. Time flies. Because yes. I remember the pretty much <laughs> yes. the whole start of it. So. And we started, you know, we started just with the plain walls. Now we have uh, uh, decorations, we have uh, um, uh, new cosmetic lines, organic lines, because as we are like in the mom's sphere, you know, the business. So we really devote too much time to use natural um, natural cosmetics. For us it is very, very important, you know, without having different, just uh, natural lines. So we're working with one of the best known Italian brands here. So mm -hmm. this is very, very... Maybe <laughs> another salon in the future? Or <laughs> <laughs> um, another <Yeah>. fifth baby. <laughs> uh, I don't know, bro. No, actually, you know, I want to, if you do something good in life for myself, you know, so I do want myself to one uh, creation space. For me, it's really enough. Maybe in the future, uh, when the kids will grow, we'll think about franchisee, you know, to yeah, have yeah, um, uh, these kind of things, maybe. But I need really to focus first on here because uh, um, in the beginning, it is important to do one thing well and then start another one. So I still feel that here some things, some things need to be done. Mm 
Yeah, I mean, one year is still young. Still you have young. To, one year, yes, yeah. it's like a baby baby. And yeah. then after one year, the baby starts working yeah. Yeah. So by itself. So now till one year, I still give a hand to this business and work with it. After one year, when like the baby, real baby yes. starts working, so I can devote some other time maybe for different uh, development of, yeah. Yeah. of this boutique studio, yes. Yeah, I'm sure you, you'll do well. I know you devote Thank a lot you. of time to like customer service to make sure the client is happy because that's, I guess, the, one of the most, pretty much the most important thing yes, to make sure. because we want the customer feels here as at home. So we really focus when the customer has birthday, we give gifts on the birthday. We focus on when it comes with the kids, we have hot chocolate with the kids, you know, biscuits. So um, we have the best toys from the wood. Uh, we have the best um, toys from the wood, natural, so that the baby can play safe. Uh, so, um, of course, there is a lot of projects, but we um, want to focus on this to see. Yeah, one of the best strategies is for market strategies, of course, is care. Like, this is the most important in my business as well. Like, we take a lot of time for that and in yours well. You're doing well, a great so, job, Rory. So I'm very proud of you. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. But yeah, thank you again for this. Um, really nice talking to you. I know we don't see each other often, but yes, uh, still, you know. Yeah, keep traveling, traveling. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure. So good luck with all the things. Thank you I'm so sure much, you'll probably. do well. Uh, maybe more salons. I'm sure you'll probably <laughs> do that or we give hope. it to franchise because that's a great. Yeah, that's uh, a great way, idea. Way, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. <laughs>we basically achieved what we made 4000 yes. orders over a year Dmitri joined uh, another uh, i don't know 4 3000 so over 10000 now right yes. a lot of numbers a lot of orders but this is a great journey uh, one year almost one year what do yeah. you think i'm working with Vasily with in Konstantin for almost a year now it was super exciting super efficient year we've been growing like crazy improving a lot of our customer service and uh, the quality of the service overall and uh, I think we're way ahead of our competitors and we're going to kill the game, like we're going to continue doing this and we're going to uh, achieve even greater results. Yeah, I think the communication, this is the, basically the most core for us and uh, we have another team member hopefully soon and we can continue to scale that way because we finally have a great production to Alexander and he's here as well so uh great uh, great vlog great journey everything is awesome so we're just gonna continue to kill it and hustle exactly. even yeah. harder guys thank you so much for watching this vlog so now i'm gonna go to helsinki by myself without alexander but it's just one trip because we are testing the London trip where I'll be by myself filming and shooting so I'll be testing this camera and trying to film myself so I don't know how it's gonna be anyways you're gonna see in the next vlog and then the London thank you so much for watching see you soon